They're looking very relaxed, but I can hardly contain my excitement. The mother is enormous. I feel utterly insignificant in her presence. Yet she seems so comfortable with mine. It's an almost spiritual encounter, and one I'll keep with me forever. It's an immense honor to be in this situation. The mother is at ease, even lifting up her fin and allowing me to swim under her. The calf is inquisitive and just wants to play. We swim together for a couple of hours. Soon this mother and calf will begin their long journey north again. They won't return until next year. But my journey is now over. I've been accepted into the whale's world, and I've swum with some of the most perfectly evolved freedivers on Earth. I'm Tanya Streeter. To stay underwater longer, I've learned to overcome one of the body's most primitive reflexes, the urge to breathe. I can hold my breath for over six minutes. It's allowed me to free dive deeper and longer than I ever imagined. And in doing so, I've set nine world records. And now I have a chance to meet nature's top freedivers, some of the most mysterious, intelligent, and awe-inspiring creatures in the oceans. My goal is to build a trusting relationship with these gentle giants. My dream is to go diving with whales. Now a nature reserve, it's a unique environment, one worth exploring the way I love best. Freediving. As I descend, my heart rate begins to slow and blood flow is concentrated around my vital organs. It's a response condition that we share with the whales, called the mammalian dive reflex.
I feel completely at home in this watery world. But in this state, adrenaline is now my greatest enemy. I must control my excitement, even when I see something moving ahead of me in the distance. Oh, he's such a show-off. <laughs>